What's up guys, back here. Another quick video showing how to get our project off of our data collector and onto our machine once we got our site localized. Everything's looking good. So, just pop the data collector out here, come in the cab. You can do this many different ways. You can see here, I'm in a Komatsu D51 PXI machine. And we're connected up to our base. I don't have the key on. This display is hot all the time. So, you know, save fuel, so on and so forth. Keep that off. So I got my data collector down here. I'm still connected to my rover, which is fine. So I got a thumb drive inserted over here on the side. If we go to data, project, this will get us to our project list. So you can see all the different projects here. I'm at the T-hanger, so I'm just gonna hit copy. And I wanna go from internal memory to my D drive. So I'm just gonna select my project, hit okay. I got one file copied, simple as that. I can select that, it's gonna go back to my project. I can pop my thumb drive out, place it into the dozer. So on the newer GX55 screens, a little bit different, but this IB button up here will give us our menus. We go to file, projects, real similar to Pocket 3D. We're gonna hit copy. We're gonna do from D to 3DMC. Sometimes it takes a second. I got a bunch of junk on my thumb drive. Um, so if it doesn't get it the first time, went too fast. D to 3DMC. You really should do it with a thumb drive that doesn't have, but that basically only has projects on it, but yeah, rules aren't always fun to follow. Um, maybe. Try one more time here. There we go. So I got my T-hanger. Hit OK. So that's the big difference between these GX60s and GX55s is a lot more memory, uh, a lot faster. You know, we start getting a lot of projects on these things, they can slow down. I think that's what we got going on here, but. Or I just have fat fingers, one or the other. So now you can see here, got my project on there. Connected once I key the machine on here I'll have to do my cylinder reset and move the machine around and get initialized But now I can go in and check My dozer with my rover to do that. It's real simple. If we just go into tools, there's position check I can check right tip middle tip left tip And my two cents on position checks is, is great to make sure you're looking good, but the real way to check the machine is to cut grade and check behind the machine and make sure everything's looking good. Um, position checks can lie to you, especially, you know, you're, you're, if you don't want to establish a good heading on these single GPS machines, it takes a minute, you know, to get a good heading established. Um, but yeah, do your position check and go to work.